hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for all of your likes your comments your shares and subscribes i greatly appreciate them all let's head in okay to see how you guys this weekend is going to go so this is a general weekend reading for the collective all right please keep in mind this reading is general all right so let's tap in Okay, so we got 82, we got 137, we got the easel, and I don't know what that is. All right, <laughs> but let's see. 18, so let's look at the easel. This is definitely art, some sort of art energy going on there. Um, it says create a project. So there could be a creative project here. Okay. That you guys are going to be doing. All right. Or this is indicating some sort of artistic trend. So, all right, this is for whoever. All right, 82. Let's keep moving. No, wait, let's get 59 first and then 82. Nuclear science symbol. Nuclear family. Scientific here, material or mind. So somebody could be extremely creative, like on a scientific level. All right. Okay, for the weekend, 82. So somebody's like a genius here, okay? And somebody could be getting some sort of honor, recognition or reward, a medal here for their creativity, okay? Because somebody, the way somebody created something, it's like you're a freaking genius, all right? They get some sort of recognition, and then we got 137. Okay, mutual love, honeymoon, and celebration. Two of Cups. So, somebody's about to do something, right? <laughs> they about to get real creative here. Somebody could be an artist, somebody could actually be, uh, they can make food. Okay. Um, but somebody's about to get real creative here when it comes to creating something here. They definitely are going to get a reward. This could be a reward coming to you for your creativity collective. All right. But this is definitely mutual love. Okay. So if this has something to do with love, somebody that loves you is going to get real creative here because they want to win you over in some sort of way here. So somebody about to get with this uh, scientific energy. They about to get real technical with this shit, okay? <laughs> All right, seriously. Hmm, that is interesting. Okay, so this weekend, got something to do with some love matters here, okay? Wow, as soon as I... Picked up the deck. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectation. Oh, boy. We got Gemini here. You could be a Gemini. Dealing with a Gemini. I'm about to get creative here. Someone wants, somebody wants to win you over. They want to win your heart, your feelings, or something like that. They're about to get creative this weekend. What's they about to do in your spirit? Give me a 
enough like to finish this off for the collective here when it comes to this message from this D, you know, I already said it. If you're new, those messages are directly from your ancestors or your higher self, okay? Ah. So it's safe for you to love. Open up your heart to give and receive the energies. Okay. Wow. Yep. I'm telling you, somebody about to get real creative making the effort here. Religious factors and very soon. So your love life is being influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. So y'all could be different in that way. Okay. Somebody could be religious. You could be spiritual. But this person is in love with you. Y'all in love with each other or whatever. But very soon, clearly decide what you want so it can come to you now. Because this person is about to make the effort. All right. Oh, boy. Yep. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you'll experience more love in your present moments. All right. I'm about to pull out all the stops here, Spirit. Yep. So a Gemini could be wanting to ignite some sort of passion with you here. Okay. Yep. So we got Pisces, Scorpio, and a Gemini. Definitely. Might want to ignite some sort of passion here. This could be you or them. Yes, ma'am. I am busy. This could be you, them. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Okay, um, hmm. That's true. So, I've been getting a lot of love readings as of late. I really have. And that's a good thing, okay? Because I was sick and tired of hearing how everybody doing the most, okay? So, I'm okay with that. I'm not complaining at all. All right, yeah, cause you some you got somebody in the head right now. So this man or think about you thoughts or a woman is thinking about you. How are they gonna you know, occupation? They want to work with you. How are they gonna get this to work out with you? Somebody could been calling you in. You have the power. Somebody has been calling you in here. Okay. But their plans keep backfiring, okay, when it comes to what they are desiring with you. So say somebody wants you to be all lovey and passionate to them. So say somebody's doing a love spell on you, okay? Only thing they're getting past right now, they get in, if you communicated with them, they got past that part. All right, boom. But this, it's not consistent. It's not how they want it. They're like, damn, I got to go back to the drawing board. All right. And do it like this. Because they want to ignite the passion in you, your connection. Somebody really knows that, all right, well, shit. If you're talking to somebody here, it's like, at least I got them to communicate with me. Now I got to, like, do more. Because it's, it's going to die down. It's like a flame that's just dwindling. Like, it's getting weak. The flame is getting weak. I don't, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. It's because somebody plans to keep backfiring because they keep trying to abuse their power. God said, time's up here. Okay. With a baby mom energy, something has to end. And now they're seeing things your way here because if they don't, if they don't use their intuition, it's like something that's going to end completely on them. So somebody know they got to get it together. They can't be half ass something. Yeah, because you're so protected from everything. So love spells don't work. Um, communication spells don't work. Like certain shit just don't work. Well, none of it works on you. And it's like, damn, so how can I get in here? Okay. <laughs> That's where we're the message right now. Oh, are funny. Yeah. We got supernatural. Okay, this is some sort of outwardly worldly experience somebody is having right now, or that's how they seeing you. All right, supernatural energy. Yeah. 
So they need trying to think clearly because you're you not like nobody else. You're very, you know. So somebody's thinking clearly, like, how can I do this? Like, <laughs> right? I gotta get real creative. Like these fish got butterfly wings and shit. Like what? And they flying. <laughs> All right, so somebody want to impress you or something collective, like what? Somebody really want to impress you, okay? In some sort of way. Somebody wants you to fall in love with them again. Because you're not sure if it's safe to love this person or what. I don't know, man. All right, so let's see. Because you got the power here. I ain't know that shit. Or you got power over them. They not trying to tell you that. They trying to keep that on them, you know. But it's like, shh, I'm not trying to lose you. I keep hearing again. So they must have lost you before. All right. And here you are. They like, oh, shit. All right. So how can I keep them? How <laughs> can I make it up, man? How can I keep them? Right? They're trying to allure you here. All right, listen, they don't know how to do it. <laughs> they need help. Somebody is literally asking for help right now, okay? Calling somebody like, yo, man, like, I'm trying to seduce her, okay? Um, damn, my manipulation tactics ain't working because this motherfucker is like, this is amazing. This is miraculous because... Everybody else, I can, you know, it's nothing. Like, but this person, it just ain't working. Man. All right? So, whoever they talking to, like, yo, man, like, you got, I don't know, like, can you help me out? Kindness is going to work. That's the only way she going to deal with you if you be kind or compassionate. Because they already got burnt by the sun because it's like, wait, it's, you got free will. You're self-sufficient, independent. You single. So it's like, can't nobody control you? You're independent. You're an independent soul, okay? It's that deep. That's why you're a supernatural energy. Everybody, a lot of people on this realm are not independent souls. You are one, all right? Um. So that's like, damn, you know? Everybody else is easily swayed or manipulated, not you. Maybe there was a point of a time where you weren't an independent soul and they were able to do this type of technique on you. And now you have became some supernatural shit, okay? So their erotic rituals aren't working like they used to. Well, they ain't working at all for you. Yeah, because you know. You're like a loner now, misfit, or outsider here. This is crazy. Spirit, what is the message? So even, he said, I just heard him say, even back then, you weren't easy to impress. So whoever you are, you was not easy to impress even then when you, were, when you weren't that independent soul. <laughs> yes, but now you in this independent soul energy. Ah, and you're rebelling. From this past person, any past prisons that somebody had you in, you are no longer in those. So they like, how the fuck do I seduce this person that's held in high honor? Fuck. Like, because God all on this person. All right. They did some daring adventure at night here and they feel like they got punished for. And they like, fuck. Yeah, because they got his rules now. You come with rules and guidelines and shit. <laughs> Rule number one. Don't do this. You can't do that. You got to do it like this. You can't do like somebody like shit. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. Somebody like shit. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, guys. As soon as I part the deck, I always feel like somebody watching me. You damn right. They are watching your ass because they trying to figure you out. How can I get next to you? I'm hearing that song. Uh, yeah, somebody got to get next to you. 
That's how they feel. How can I get next to you? Okay, yeah, dating casually. Because they're like, all right, well, maybe we should date casually. Like, maybe I ask her I want to date. All right. Yeah. Also, somebody's watching, trying to see if you're dating anyone. Give me a message about this situation. You want some vacation, me, please. Okay. So, watch your thoughts. Okay. So, speaking something into existence. So, like I was saying, everything I'm saying here about you being an independent soul, you're being free, you're happy, you're vibrant, you're in this um, high honor energy, and this person is trying to figure you out. You are definitely miraculous being here because you this noble energy. And your words manifest your reality here. They know that. So what this person could even be trying to do since they, you see how he working? You see him? He's trying to get me to say, right, that this, that would work, but it's not because you're independent and free. You're a free spirit. You're a free soul. So this person wants to get creative, Right. So that you can see it's safe to love them in some sort of way. But they know they have to put the work in in order for you to even see that. They know that. Okay. They know that. Yes, this is your twin flame. They know that. A Bronx tail. They know that. Okay. They know that. <laughs> your twin flame knows that. And since you're on this vacation me please okay you're like in this positive happy vibrant energy right now everything you want like you say you want a billion dollars okay the universe is going to be working on that for you you say you want to be in a relationship with that person in particular they will be here pulling up at the door with roses flowers and candies anything you want okay because you are beyond like super magnet energy okay <laughs> super magnet okay so it, it's important for you to keep that's if your energy has been high and high vibrational you're happy you're that's important for you right now because you're manifesting right now and you're manifesting awesome stuff you're not afraid you're not you're not lacking anything you're not if people somebody could be trying to manipulate the outside world but your insides are still and your inside mind, body, and soul is grounded. So everything, you look at everything in a high vibration. If something goes wrong, you're looking at it in a positive way. Continue to do that. All right. Continue to do that. We got soulmate. Okay. Look. <laughs> what did I just say? I said they was going to put in the work and look what came out. They're going to put in work. Soulmate is going to put in work. Your person is going to put in work here. All right, yeah. They said, uh, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. All right, so this person is not about to cheat you at all. They're actually going to put in the work, okay, to get you to have this contract with them. Here, sign on a dotted line energy. Like, we're going we gonna to work something out here. Whoever this soulmate is, whether it is a new person coming towards you or this is someone that uh, is wanting to win you over in some way, shape, or form. For some of you guys, this is a, absolutely a new person, okay? A new soulmate here that is like, I got to have her, okay, or him. But I feel like it's a her because, yeah, I feel like it's a masculine energy that is, you know, pursuing someone. And they're watching you closely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Okay, for some, it is a past person that's very shy. And they want to reconcile with you. So they know that they cheating themselves in a situation, whatever situation they could have been in. They feel like they were cheating themselves, okay? Because somebody could have been a pushover here, all right? You could have went through some sort of metamorphosis here, all right? Maybe with your looks or just in general with your whole entire being, Mm-hmm. I'm picking up two energies, y'all. Oh, boy. 
You definitely got somebody to secret admire here. Uh-huh. Angels in the outfield. Like I said, your angels are always around you and you are protected at all times. Everything that you want, you everything that you love is protected. Don't worry about it. So there are angels in the outfield here. Okay. Definitely. All right. They know that this person could have been dealing with someone here. Okay. That could have been um, just a fling. Okay. Um, and they know they got to get the angels is telling them that they can't bring this person around here or they can't be in your energy or even if it was somebody they had a long term situation with, they can't do it. Right. They saying don't take it personal. OK, so the angels are saying, you, hey, yeah, this person really didn't mean nothing. Don't take it personal. Divine feminine. OK. All right. Let's see what happened. One more. And then we're going to get more messages here. New love. New love me, please. They got it bad, okay? Whoever this new love is, oh boy. Nate is in love, okay, with your ass, okay, Divine Feminine? Somebody really, really got it bad for you. This new love, secret admirer. If they, if you stop talking to this person here, because the reconciliation card is there, they shy. You, They are nervous around you, all right? But they got it bad, okay? Drowning in their emotions here. Missing you. Unable to make a move, though. They, they're frozen in some sort of sense. That's why they keep watching you. Wow. Yeah. All right. And if it's an old past person coming, same thing. They like, oh, I want this person bad. Like, but I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. They definitely spying on you. So we've seen soulmate, twin flame, energy. All right. Yeah, they feel like uh, they feel defeated here or they feel like they sabotage something with you. All right. In some way, strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see. So this weekend looks uh, a little, a lot of spicy. Okay, the path they chose, they got their heart broke on. Okay, is a whale. And they heartbroken that you closed off to them as well. So you could be closed off to somebody. All right, until they grow up or become that king of pentacles energy or somebody who could have been in a relationship and you were closed off. Let's see, who's coming towards my collective this weekend? The sun. Happiness and joy. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. The sun card. All right. So something, somebody could have had other options as well. But the sun card, Leo energy don't have to be, but Virgo energy don't have to be. But somebody is will happily put in the work that they need to to be by your side, okay? How is this person planning to come towards you? Or something that's going to make you very happy at work, okay? Or that somebody want to put in the work? How is this person coming in here? Okay, did it flip? Yeah, Six of Pentacles here. Okay. Yeah, so somebody definitely can't cut. So somebody friend, they feel like this friend may cause an imbalance for them or something like that. What's the obstacle here? So they might have to tell you something. Ace of Cups. Struggling with love or how they feel about you. Is that burden how they feeling? And the outcome it is the reconciliation. So somebody about to reconcile with you here. Definitely. And they're not giving up trying to reconcile with you. They're going to reconcile with you. That's how they feel. <laughs> okay. That's just how they feel. They're very determined to be with you. To bring balance, harmony, reconciliation. Just. Yeah. Let's see. There's the sun card here. Okay. Mr. Sun, please. 
Yeah, Eight of Swords. Somebody all in their head. This King of Pentacles here. They feel powerless right now towards Virgo Capricorn. What's the Eight of Swords? Gemini. What's this Eight of Swords? Page of Pentacles here. Somebody definitely is making a practical decision or they know they got to be trustworthy here. All right. And they nervous. Gemini energy again. They feel like they're going to sabotage this or they're going to mess it up. So they already thinking like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm nervous. Okay. So somebody's a little nervous here, but they trying to make a plan to seed here. Okay. They all in their head about this though. Okay. Page of Pentacles, please. What's the Page of Pentacles? Somebody trying to make a practical to, yeah, to get your attention or have victory and success in a relationship. That's the truth. This person wants a true commitment with you or a real relationship with you. Somebody wants victory and success in a relationship with you. Okay. Yeah. And they don't want to give up. So they know they got to let something go in order to take this leap of faith. Maybe that's what's causing the anxiety for this person. But they can't get over it like you or everything to somebody. What's the Six of Pentacles here? How they coming towards you is with a gift or they want to give to you. What's the Six of Pentacles? Judgment. Wow. I don't see that. Judgment. The Will of Fortune. What? Emperor. High Priestess Hermit. So this person went through a spiritual awakening? Yeah. They is. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And they are wanting to. They wishing now. Like, is divine timing. Wish granted healing. Yeah. Wow. All right, and the um, Ace of Cups is the obstacle. How they feeling? King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Moon, King of Swords. They've been hiding their feelings here. And they can't do it anymore, is what I'm hearing. They've been trying to find wise counsel. How can they tell you something but somebody is trying to hide their they were trying to hide their feelings how they was really feeling for you but they can't by being cold and detached but that shit is that's not working what's this moon page of swords that's why they've been spying on you and regret queen of swords because somebody is in love with you so somebody been really spying on you heavily here in secret they got a lot of feelings for you. Okay, a lot, a lot of King of Cups, Ace of Cups energy going on here with this Emperor. They could be any sign, but they want to reconcile. Temperance. Isn't it symbolic? I think so. Yeah, that's symbolic, everybody that celebrates. Yeah, of course. Duh. All right. What's this song? Temperance. Seven of Swords. So somebody want to bring balance to some sort of illusions or lies they were spreading or saying about you or said to you. What's the Seven of Swords? Yeah. Because I feel like they're consciously aware here that, they, that somebody could have betrayed you or somebody feel like they're going to lose you. What's the magician here? So they want to bring balance to any injustice. Oh, so somebody want to bring balance to any injustices that they brought in this connection with you. They know they got to fix that first. Okay, magician. Yep, I can't make it up. Look at this. If they want to be with you, they know they got to fix it. And they going to get it. It's going to happen. It's happening. They're consciously aware. They know you, they twin flame. They know that y'all are going to pose to be together. They in love with you. Wish granted for them to have a relationship with you here. 
and moving forward from because they move forward from somebody from the past here or y'all moving forward from anything that happened in the past and that's just that wow so this is the proposal that they're hiding this is something else so get ready all right <laughs> y'all better let me know okay how does it go and if this is me i'm gonna let y'all know i'm gonna let y'all know i'm gonna let y'all know but oh my gosh big big changes with that death card i mean huge transformation for this person that's held in high honor it's about to go down this weekend okay mark my words it's this weekend wow 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 and wow let's get messages from this person okay some initials and all of that look at that i'm just looking here get some text messages from this person wow as soon as i parked the deck i know you're strong but i want to be your knight in shining armor well <laughs> say they sure can be the knight in shining armor yes please okay beautiful beautiful energy I am so excited. I don't I feel it feels really good. This energy feels amazing. Okay. It says I'm ready to listen to my heart and soul and act on my feelings. I cannot make this up, y'all. 333. Wow, collective. Yes. I want to make things right between us. I don't like where we are right now, and I feel like I'm losing you. If I ever lose you, that will be something I regret for the rest of my life. Wow. I'm seeing synchronicities everywhere that are confirming that my feelings for you are true. 222333. Okay. You're always in my thoughts and my heart. Oh. 717 can be significant. Your energy is truly magical. I'm trying to manifest you back into my life because I miss you and I want to be with you. I did some research to understand my feelings for you. And I realized that you are my soulmate twin flame. Both of those cards came out. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I don't feel no shady business going on with this situation. Okay. This feels really good. Okay. Dreams come true. Even wow, even if you reject me, I will continue to love you from afar and try to convince you to choose me. I know it's bold of me to ex expect so much from you since I was the one who messed up everything. Who messed up the connection, I but I don't care. Listen, this person yeah, they, they, they for reals, okay? For reals. So somebody already know you're a very strong, independent, free spirit energy, but they like, listen though. <laughs> you know, me though. Me, okay? What about me? I can add to that energy. Is something else collective? Let me see. Wow, you light my fire. What did I just say about in the beginning of the reading? of the flame being dim 
Okay, so somebody like they gotta put that spark back in that. Like, no, like you light their fire. They wanna relight some some like yeah, we got E. <laughs> e T. T or E, first, last, middle, initial, yours and theirs. A Capricorn could be significant L. Let, okay. <laughs> Let Capricorn light your fire. <laughs> Let me know, wait. <laughs> oh no, wow. All right, let's see here. So let's see. Let's get messages. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 I heard that in the beginning of the reading. I didn't want to, you know. Any more cards here, okay, for the, oh, the collective, okay, take these two since they was in my hand, all right, so boom, we got G, okay, so vacation me please, I'm planning a vacation and we're going to, yeah, be passionate with each other, <laughs> all right, we got, you deserve all my love. All right. Oh, man. Hold on, collective. Hold up. Let me get all the cards together. They came out like word vomit here. Okay. So, we got a Scorpio here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to place these cards. Hold on. All right, we're going to get the letters, and then we got B, W, B, first, last, middle, initial. All right, we're going to put the signs over here, okay, and what they talking about over here, and we're going to put the words here, okay? That's how we're going to do that. So we got, they made in planning a vacation, you deserve all my love, you light my fire. We got Capricorn Scorpio, okay, so far we got R, all right. You are my true love. So somebody knows you're their true love. You're the end all, be all here. And you are so beautiful inside and out. We got S. Okay. We got Y. Say yes, I just heard. Can you say yes? All you gotta do is say yes. Okay, I feel a strong magnetic attraction to you. Wow, okay. Don't deny what you feel. Let me undress you, baby. So Sagittarius, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, Flow and tree song, okay. Cancer. We got B. O. Um, I'm going to open up to you soon. I can't hide my love for you no more. So somebody can't hide this love they've been feeling for you. We got P. Okay. Y'all can read. All right. Somebody want to be all in. Yeah, Divine Feminine. <laughs> BF, first, last, middle, initial, yours, and there. Somebody want to. Okay. Yeah. We got Aries. Okay. They hungry, they said. Aquarius. We got Q. You are my dream come true. You smell so good, okay? We got a Pisces. We got N. We got Gemini. We got A. We got Virgo. Damn. These could be their signs, your sign, however. All right. We got Z, H, and J. Where is it in there? All right. It says, you are the love of my life. I'm so glad I found you. Aw. So, like I said, this could be your signs, they signs. All right. Whoever signs. All right. But I feel like, yeah. Your signs, they signs. Your initial, they initial. All right. 
So I hope this helped you, okay? I'm not about to even, so my name could be Jerome, okay, for some of y'all. We got Brit here. Brittany, that could be their name. Your name, I should say. But we're not about to go, we're not doing all that. But somebody definitely wants to be in your life, okay? It could be their signs, their initials, how they feeling. All right, I hope this helped you guys. Sending you, you guys a bunch of light love and healing vibes. Talk to you later.